Hey guys, welcome to another edition of 7 on Sunday, SOS, right here on Beyond AR TV. Keep checking back and leaving a request for every Sunday for SOS, where I count down the top 7 of something, whether it be like my favorite concerts, films, etc. You guys decide in the comment section down below. I got an idea from one of you guys for this idea that I'm doing this week, and that is the top seven most played songs in my iTunes. Now, this is just iTunes, not like counting like iPhone, uh, my iPod that I still use in my car. So this is just counting the actual plays from songs in my iTunes account. Now keep in mind this has only been in use on this computer since late 2010, so it might not be the most accurate representation of like my favorite songs by any means, and of course songs I have listened to the most, because some songs, you know, it only counts a play if you listen to it all the way through. I might accidentally skip like right before the end of the song or something like that. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start with number seven, and that is Blue Jeans by Lana Del Rey. That is probably the only song that I've ever truly gotten into by Lana Del Rey, and that's clocking in with 20 two plays on my iTunes, so it's definitely my favorite off of Born to Die, one of the only ones that I truly enjoyed that and like Summertime Sadness. Number six is Amanda by Green Day off of the album Trey, which was released recently. That clocks in with 26 plays. It's short, catchy, melodic, and just fun to listen to, and it just immediately, something about it drew me in, and it's got that huge replay factor, so that's why this one got a lot of plays. Number five is Under Cover of Darkness by The Strokes. As soon as that became available for like free download back in 2011, I immediately downloaded that song. And it just it's still in my playlist to this day that I listen to quite often. So it's just got that melodic guitar solo, classic Strokes feel, classic rock feel to it. And that clocks in with 27 plays. At number four, also with 27 plays, we have Pumped Up Kicks by Foster the People off of their 2011 debut, Torches. Seeing this song live just make me, made me fall back in love with it after not hearing it for a little while. Heard them at Bonnaroo last year, and it was just an amazing experience. Pumped Up Kicks, it's just got such a wonderful feel to it. It deserved every bit of success that it achieved, and I'm really hoping that their new album turns out great. Number three on the list with 30 plays is Let It Die by the Foo Fighters. I never actually got into this song until about 2011. I know it was on their 2007 album Echoes, Silence, Patience, and Grace, but I never fully got into it in two, until 2011. And when I did, I just started listening to it. I love the slow build up to it. It's got this nice acoustic guitar, and then finally it just crashes in with these heavy guitars, and Dave just going out on screams on this song. Why'd you have to go and let it die? Number two, My Songs Know What You Did in the Dark, Light em Up by Fall Out Boy with 32 plays. This song just immediately drew me in, and I just started listening to it over and over again when it was released back in February of this year. Still I haven't gotten tired of it to this day. I know if you guys listen to the radio you're probably sick of it, but I rarely, oh, I pretty much never listen to the radio unless it's in like a friend's car or something like that. So I still listen to this song quite often and most of the time I don't even listen to this like in my iTunes. I'll be in my car or something. So if you were counting literal plays it would probably be over a hundred. Number one, the number one most played song in my iTunes account is Metropolis by Owl City, clocking in with 35 plays. This song was my favorite off of his album, The Midsummer Station. It just had that classic Owl City feel to it, and that was just something that I just kept wanting to hear. It takes you kind of to a different place, and that's what I had kind of missed about some of Owl City's new material, but this song, Metropolis, really has that power to just draw you away into another place, and I absolutely love it. Well guys, this has been my top 7 most played songs in my iTunes, so if you would like to leave suggestions for future 7 on Sundays, let me know in the comment section down below, and of course, let me know what your most played songs are, like how many times have you listened to them. I would say do your top 3 in the comment section down below. I will see you guys very soon, a lot of track reviews and that sort of thing on the way. Of course, check out my comedy channel, Facebook, Twitter, all the links are in the description down below. Thanks for subscribing, your home for music news and reviews, Beyond ARTV.